Hi, this is Travels with Phil, and I am Phil Constantine. On this episode, we're in Massachusetts along the Connecticut River in Turner Falls, Greenfield, and Gill, Massachusetts. This is a spot where the river makes a curve and goes over some falls, and it has been the scene of fishing for thousands of years. You can see an overhead view here of the dams that have been put in there and the large bridge. Turner Falls and the surrounding communities are uh, thriving little communities, even have a Carnegie uh, br- uh, library, and actually that is how it's pronounced, by the one of the few names I know how to say. It's not Carnegie, but Carnegie. That's how he pronounced it, at least. And there's one of the dams and the big bridge going across the river. Well, for thousands and thousands of years, Indians have been coming here to do fishing on the falls. And even though they may be warring or have bad relationships, there was sort of a truce drawn so they could come together here during the times when the fish were running salmon and other types of fish. Well, in the 1676 area during the King Phillips War, there were a group of Narragansett, Nipmuc, Wampanoags, and other Indians here. Uh, A Captain William Turner came in, a colonist, and led 160 men against these Indians. Uh, They had been doing some raiding in the area. And they started fighting uh, one of the three villages. I don't know if they knew who was where, but the largest village, which is the one they attacked, was mostly the older women and men and children. They killed a lot of the Indians that were there, and then they fled from the scene. As you can see here, they were crossing what is now called the Green River when the warriors finally caught up to them and killed uh, Captain Turner and several of his other men at this particular spot, just a little bit uh, west of uh, the falls. Travels with Phil continues from Greenfield, Massachusetts. I don't know the name of this river, but this is the one where Captain Turner, after retreating from the Turner Falls, Great Falls of the Connecticut River uh, battle or massacre, depending on which side you listen to. This is where they were fording the stream, him and the uh, survivors of that battle, the colonist. And uh, he died in the process of going through here. As far as I know, he was killed by the Indians. Uh, Regardless of that, it's a nice little creek, brook, stream, river. Coming in from two different directions here. Not a lot of flow going through it. Unfortunately, the bridge is down to one lane here. Well, you can see the bridge there in the distance, and these are two signs that mark the site of where he was killed, and they sort of disagree with each other. Travels with Phil continues from Greenfield, Massachusetts. All right, now here are two signs talking about the same incident. Captain William Turner, who uh, participated in leading uh, colonist soldiers against uh, the Indians as part of King Philip's War. Now, this uh, part of the uh, memorial... Says Captain William Turner, Boston, a soldier in King Philip's War, was mortally wounded while crossing the Punkamican River or Punkamigun River, and fell on the west bank May 10, 1676, on retreat after the Falls fight at Peskayom's Cut or Turner's Fall. Pardon me, I cannot pronounce his name. Forty men of his command fell that day. Captain Samuel Holyoke with the survivors fought their way back to Hatfield. To commemorate the patriotism and sacrifice, this memorial is dedicated July 20th. It looks like 1905, possibly 1805, but 1905. Now, right next to it. All right. Captain William Turner, a military commander during King Philip's War. Captain Turner was killed near here in a retreat after leading a massacre of Indians fishing at Turner Falls in Gill on May 19, 1676. So see, even the uh, sign people can't make up their mind whether this guy was a villain or a hero. Maybe not quite villain, but definitely uh, killing people who were not combatants. So there you go. This is uh, out of Greenfield in Massachusetts. And even the historians can't agree. Travels with Phil continues from my car. I just bought some uh, really nice uh, blueberries from a nice family farm. You can see the stand right there. Now, I asked the lady how to pronounce her name, and she said Butinsky. So she said it with a completely straight face. So I have to assume that that's what it really is. But that's what my mother used to call me as a kid. A Butinsky. <laughs> Always butting in. <laughs> Oh boy, from Greenfield in Massachusetts at the Butinsky farm stand. Travels with Phil continues. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right hand corner. Thank you again for watching.